Annyeong, it's Mikey here. I got something really cool from UPS today, and it's this. So if you guys didn't know, uh, Wu Ting actually have come out with their own personal aluminum case. So we're gonna go through this and see how it goes. And I'm hoping it sounds a lot nicer and it's gonna be a lot better feel. So here it is, the Alumaz 60 Wu Ting case. Let's open it up and uh, let's see how it looks. Oh, it feels heavy. So, oh, oh, I accidentally didn't unlock this thing. It's my bad. Okay. Now, ah, cool. Okay, so they give you some foam for the inside. Let's take a look at it real quick. Oh, it's actually, it's really thin, actually. Hmm. We'll, take, we'll see how it sounds with the, the new foam added, additional foam. Oh, it does not want to go back inside. We're going to give up on putting that back in for now. Alrighty. Let's take a look at what's actually in here. So I got the blue version. Um, the other ones were sold out. And uh, I just wanted to kind of see what a, a blue case would look like on my my current setup. So we have, ooh, we have a brass inside right there in the little corner. Um, honestly, it's weight wise, it's definitely more weight towards the left than it is to the right. So that's something to keep a note of. So the biggest issue that I had with my Tofu 60 case was the fact that um, if you look at it carefully here, if you look at this real quick, this doesn't line up. It's not very well lined up. And this doesn't have a weight inside in the middle, so I feel like there's a little bit of a hollow sound right about here. I don't know if you guys can kind of hear it. So that little hollowing. This on the other hand is no hollow. So there's no little hole, there's nothing. Um, this isn't fully kept in place, it seems. Yeah, so the weight here, as you can see, it's not fully kept in place. So, careful when you are building on this, if you do get one. And again, at the end of the video, I will let you guys know if it's really worth it or not. Good questions. But definitely. Also, one issue that I had with the Pofu 60 case, um, I'll show you guys right here, is this. This doesn't line up fully here. So there's like a little bump here. And it doesn't line up perfectly. So that's something that I also didn't want to take. Take a look here before we build into it. Oh, this one actually doesn't line up either, but from what I heard in their videos was that there should be some footing in here. So we'll take a look. Let's open it up. So it comes with a new strap. Uh, if you guys all remember, there was a strap from the Wooting 60 HE original base. So it's a new one. Take it this way. Let's see what comes in the little bag. Okay, cool. So it comes with the new footing. That's something I really wanted. She just installed it right now. Because I hate being flat. I like my angles. Okay. 
Nice. Oh. And this thing fell out again. Not the greatest. Okay, let's see what we need to install. Nice. Okay, it comes with some of these screws. Oh, and it comes with a little stopper too. Nice. There's a little bit more. Oh. This will be good. So I can put these in here. Okay, let's start working on this new case. I'm gonna get you guys on it. Alrighty, I'm back. And uh, yeah, it's time to fully get into this thing. So, oh, the sticker's getting, st this tape is just getting to me. Okay, so let's get on to, so let's get on to making this keyboard. So from what Wuqing, the nice thing is I don't actually have to remove everything here. All I have to do is rem remember, if I can, where the screws are supposed to be. And I'll just have to remove those specific parts. Which would make my life a lot easier if I remembered all of them. Too bad I do not. Ooh, it is dirty though. One thing I don't like about having a white case, and this is why I didn't go for a white one, is you can see the dust really easily. Um, and it builds dust quite a bit too which is quite unfortunate, which means a lot more cleaning. So, uh, if I can remember where the screws are. Okay, I found that one. So I got one, two, three. Let's put this aside. Uh, also, if you noticed on the keyboard, I accidentally put the semicolon part and the uh, comma parts in the wrong spot. So. Not the smartest thing to do. Alrighty, where's my screwdriver? Here it is. Oh, and I forgot one more screw. The space bar carefully. Perfect. Okay. Let's get into it. So if you guys saw my last video, um, I have actually put in my own little foam in here and I tape modded it quite a significant amount. So it's not easy to get this out of here. And let's hope my foam that I already bought before, the Aerogel, will fit into this new one. I really do like the aerogel because it really does calm down the sound. So, let's hope it fits. Okay, got it out. So unfortunately, the audio actually cut out and I couldn't keep the file, video file because it was corrupted. So instead of we were going to do a quick build of the keyboard with that Lumaz 60 case. And after, we'll go into the sound test with comparing the two tofu 60 and in the new alumas case and i'll let you know what my thoughts are at the end
the end of the day, I think if you already have a case, you don't need this new one. If you don't have one at all and you want to try modding your routing, go for it. It's worth it because it's a perfect fit. So I really appreciate it if you guys all liked, subscribe, and turn on that notification bell, and come back for the next video.